clears up the mystery. Meet the blue dog, the curious blue canine with bright yellow eyes. He's been popping up in the strangest places. In fact, there's no telling where the blue pooch is going to turn up next. It's a phenomenon that delights blue dog creator George Rodrigue. This blue dog came in my life. <laughs> and changed everything and it just like hit a rocket ship and just bang have you noticed there's a colorful new breed out there a rocket ship that's catapulted Rodrigue from struggling artist to multi-millionaire in just a few years the blue dog stars in ads has his own books there's blue dog cafe and three blue dog galleries where Rodrigue's original paintings fetch hundreds of thousands of dollars it's a veritable blue dog empire that Rodrigue manages himself with Cajun charm and a certain roguish joy that makes you think maybe he's the sly dog. No one tells me what to paint, how to paint, and agents and galleries tell you tend to tell you what, what sells best, and I don't care what sells best. What sells best is what I want to do. <laughs> this spring, after 15 years of commercial success but not much critical acclaim, the art of George Rodrigue is the subject of a major retrospective at the New Orleans Museum of Art. This is the most famous blue dog painting. Do you know why? It's the first one. The first one. You're absolutely right. The blue dog, like George Rodrigue himself, was born in Cajun country, among the bayous and the live oaks. In fact, for the first 25 years of his career, Rodrigue didn't paint blue dogs at all but scenes from the world he grew up in. The people know they're being painted. It looks like yeah, the people know they, they're being they painted. They're caught in time. That's a snapshot in, in, in a cultural time. A world, he says, that was fast disappearing. This was painted from an actual photograph that I grew up with. This is a dinner called an aioli dinner, garlic butter. And it was my grandfather here and his couple of his sons and all of his friends. He also painted portraits, like this one of Cajun chef Paul Prudhomme, a friend and neighbor. We've done some things where he starts cooking and I start painting, and it's the one who's gonna finish first, yes, you know. You can erase. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. And of course, <laughs> mine was worth 80 cents, and his was like <laughs> thousands of dollars, you know. We call the Loop Garou, Cajun werewolf dog, just wolfy, strange eyes. Rodrigue says dog is based on a creature from a Cajun fairy tale, a werewolf. A werewolf bearing an uncanny resemblance to the Rodrigue family dog, Tiffany. Early blue dogs were not as vivid, not uh, as stylized as today. And uh, they were, you see, this is a Cajun landscape. But gradually, the Cajun landscapes disappeared. And Rodrigue found himself face to face with his creation. When I realized that the blue dog was in itself an idea, I did not need the, the landscapes anymore. And really, what is a blue dog about? And so I invented what the blue dog's about. It's a vehicle to comment on life today. And so that's where I ended up. And that's where I am still today. Rodrigue painted this on September 11th. This is what says America has got destroyed. America has got attacked and we're all sad about it and and all the color has gone dropped out of me i have no color left the next day he made a print two weeks we, we had raised five hundred thousand dollars for the red cross in new york when katrina hit new orleans rodrigue and his blue dog pitched in again raising one and a half million dollars for hurricane relief rodrigue bristles at the suggestion that his blue dog is an old trick and when people see me do it this way they they realize that it's just more than just a dog something else is going on he says the blue dog still has things to teach him and the rest of us as well one thing george rodrigue knows for sure though he's one lucky dog as i speak 